Hi, are you thinking of leaving California? Is it time to move out of California? Well, today I'm talking to you about four of the most common states that Californians move to. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley in California. And I love living here, but I know a lot of people are leaving our beautiful state. And so today I wanted to give you a little bit of information about the four most common states people move to. We've got Texas, Arizona, Nevada, and Oregon. I'm gonna give you some financial information about Santa Clara County versus these four states and cities within them. And what I also wanna share with you is, I think it's super important when you're thinking about a move like this, unless you're actually getting job transfer and your company is helping with everything. If you're just thinking about it for personal reasons, maybe it's gotten too expensive in California, maybe a family that's already moved and you're gonna follow them, but it's still a daunting task. I have a lot of personal experience moving states. I've moved in different countries and I look at it like, I'm gonna help you put a team together. So there's different moving company options. We need to have a realtor at the other end. We need to have a lender at the other end, most likely if you need to get a mortgage. Um, we need to know title companies here and there so that we are on the same page of how to make this work as least stressful for you as possible. And believe me, I've done it a lot with clients too. Right now I'm helping someone move to Austin, Texas. I've helped a handful of people move to Idaho last year. Um, someone moved to Arizona, clear. So anyway, I have contacts in all these places. So I have a realtor that I can refer you to that we've worked together. Anyway, so let's life. get started. First, I'm gonna to talk to you about what's going on with Santa Clara numbers, and then we'll move on to the other states. The median home price here is 985,000 with a property tax rate of 0.75%, giving you an annual tax bill of just over 7,000. Our state marginal income tax rate is 13.3 and our San Jose sales tax is 9.25%. And here's a little graph of where, where Californians are moving. Here's some of the numbers of people. And again, these are all just estimates. Numbers change all the time. So let's start with Austin, Texas. Median home price, 460,000. You see all the rest in the info. Clearly the biggest advantage of living in Texas is no income tax, no state income tax. Well, here's a little breakdown. If you earn 200,000 here, about how much would you need to make in Austin to maintain your same style of living? And here's about 100,000, so about half. Home values right now, uh, median home price is around 465,000. pretty balanced housing market right now. And what's there to do in Austin? So much. Everybody's heard of the downtown, the music, the food, all of those things. There's theater, there's outdoor activities. Now let's move on to Dallas. The median home price is 400000 Again, no income tax, state income tax. Again, you need just a little bit more than you would in Austin to maintain the same lifestyle. And then 10,000. Median home price here is just around 400,000. Everyone knows there's a JFK Memorial site there. That's a big draw for tourists. Cowboys here. Cowboy fan, or if you're a 49er fan, you might not want to go there. <laughs> there's museums, there's fairs, so much to do in, in Dallas. Union Tower, the landmark. Now moving on to Phoenix. Median home price of 283000 And to make, you have the same cost of living here, you would only needs a little less than 50%. Median home price in Phoenix is around 320000 Camelback Mountain, oh my gosh, so many great hikes there. It's definitely a well-known mountain there and they a lot of 
Well, they have all the sports, that's for sure. All the major sports are there. Spring training, baseball spring training, so fun. Lots of golf, lots of golf in Arizona. Museums and zoos. Spas, let the guys go golfing. Women can go hang out at the spa. <laughs> I mean, the shopping is always great in Phoenix and the Scottsdale area. Scottsdale's a little bit more expensive than Phoenix, typically. They, they're right next door to each other. Tempe is right there as well, where Arizona State University is. Now moving on to Reno. The median home price, 390000 There's no income state tax in Nevada as well, just like Texas. So the median home price is around 330000 Reno, lots of nightlife in Reno. A little Vegas, basically. <laughs> Gambling shows, but you're also right next to Lake Tahoe. Oh my gosh, all the fantastic activities there that we all know and love. Golfing. There's that auto museum. You kind of meet. All the outdoor activities. Lots of hiking, biking, skiing, boating. The wildlife, the animal park. As I said, all this fun stuff to do in Reno, it's really come a long way. Now Las Vegas and Nevada also no state income tax. Median home price around 350000 Again, to live here, you just, it's again, it's almost about half. Almost all these places, it's about, you need to make half as much as you do here. Median home price is around 310000 Everybody knows Las Vegas Strip, all the hotels, the shows, the food, the shopping, gambling, of course. So much to do there. But a lot of people um, aren't as familiar with just outside. Um, there's a community called Summerlin. It's a master plan community, which is great. Uh, and then there's also Henderson, Nevada. That's actually a separate city. But you have all these museums nearby, the golfing. All these activities but you have these really great housing communities right nearby so it's a totally different world than the strip and then here's portland oregon our last one oregon median home price here is four hundred fifty thousand. portland is our more expensive city of all the ones we've looked at you need almost one hundred forty thousand to maintain the same lifestyle but there's no sales tax no state sales tax and the median home price is just around four hundred fifty thousand. Lots to do here. Lots of outdoor activities. There's the farmers markets. They're known for their beers, all their brewery tours, and of course their wine and all their wine tours. This is a really pretty city. Lots of outdoor greenery space, park space. There's the farmers market, the outdoor markets on the weekends. And cool bookstore. They're known for their food, a lot of great restaurants there. Of course, they have an Oregon Zoo, some museums. Here's just some data for you. All the states and what kind of salary you need. Here's the income tax rates for different states. And here's the overview of all the cities that we went over today. So I hope that information helped you. Maybe you're still not sure which state you want to go to, but maybe this information will kind of clarify some things for you. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out, whether you're thinking of moving in the next couple months, the next week, or even a couple years down the road. I am here to be a resource and I would love to talk to you about how to get your house ready to get top dollar, what's good to do and what's kind of a waste of money to do. I have a lot of other videos here about how to get your house ready for sale so have a look at some of those and anything i had to say give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that and until next time have a great one